Hey everyone, um, I'm just going to do a quick video here just to kind of clarify again um, how to use Dynamesh, how to use projection, and how to retopologize inside of ZBrush. Um, this is review, so I'm, I'm not going to go over every single step, but I want I just still want to kind of illustrate this whole process uh, again just so everybody can realize uh, what's going on. So I've got this model here. Um, say this is your your high res sculpt um, we'll just dynamesh it just to destroy the topology so we can see here's this is uh basically what you would have at the end of your your sculpt phase so this is your high res so now you need to retopologize this thing um, so first thing i do go up here i'll duplicate this high res and i'll just call this Sculpt res, and then we'll call this retopoed. All right. Okay. So next steps, we're gonna go down here, turn off Dynamesh, go to Z Remesher, and then we're going to Z Remesh this. Let's see what we get. I'm just going to turn on solo just so I can see my remesh. So did a great job. There's my, this is my first level of subdivision for re, for the retopology. So now what I need to do is go up here to project and make sure that your high res sculpt is has an eyeball next to it so it's visible. Um, and then we're just going to hit project all. And you're going to see not much happened, but it did project a little bit around the ears and the eyes. Um, not to worry, we're still going to get our detail back. So now all we have to do is subdivide this, hit project all, divide it again, hit project all. And we're going to go up here and see how many points our original was. And it was 385 polys and we're at 2003. So we need to go one more and hit project all and there we go so I'm gonna un I'm gonna hide my sculpt res so now I've got a retopoed model and you can see I've got multiple levels of subdivision and what this allows me to do is that this will be this is my lowest resolution now I can UV this object so when you're exporting out to, to do texturing you're going to export out your high res sculpt or your highest subdivision here, which those are basically the same thing. And then you're going to export your lowest subdivision. And this will be um, the geometry that you actually work on in, inside the painting program. Um, the high res sculpt is what you'll use to bake in the normal map um, and all the mesh maps uh, like in Substance Painter. Um, it's as simple as that. Um, so now that I've got this low res here, I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate this again, hide it. And there was a, um, I think it was Vaughn, uh, we're using frame mesh to do stuff. Um, so I'm just going to do that on this character here. So remember I duplicated my, my model that has sub has subdivisions. looks like I'll probably just go up to like three. Yeah, we'll go to this subdivision level um, and then what I'm going to do is hit delete higher so now there's no subdivisions here there's none at all um, that's what we need to do this frame mesh effect um, so I'm just going to put like some kind of like lines or something on on him so I'm just going to go to my mask um, do a mask lasso and I'll just do some kind of funky shape around his eye so there we've got a mask. So now I'm going to hit Control W. And what that did is it made a poly group. And then I'm going to get rid of my other polys. You can see it looks like it went to the back as well. Um, so I'm just going to go over here, uh, delete hidden. And then I'm going to go grab these back ones. 
these we don't want these polys so I'm just gonna control shift drag alt hide those and then hit delete hidden so now I should just have these two pieces of geometry for our uh, um, for our little object for our objects here so if I turn solo off and I turn my head you can see that it's an exact it's going to be an exact copy so this is a little bit uh, has it's pretty jagged around the edges so what I'll typically do with this is go up here there's a few things you can do to get go around this you can polish them um, which did a pretty good job right out of the gate for us so we'll just go with that the polish worked nice doesn't have to be perfect um, so next what we're gonna do is go over to our it's either brush or stroke it's under stroke modifiers curve I always get these there we go curve functions so under stroke um, which is right up here in your your standard menu um, curve functions and frame mesh and all we want to do is uh, do the border so we're just gonna make sure border selected and hit frame mesh and you'll see that created a curve on both sides for us so to, to add some geometry to this all we have to do is go to our brushes um, and then we can use the uh, we can use a curve tube curve tube right here and then all I have to do is just click and now you'll see we get this geometry so it's a little bit it's kind of thick and overlapping so let's undo that and then I'm just gonna make my draw size much smaller when I roll over this curve so now I get this so now if I want to I can get rid of these interior polygons do a delete and hidden and then to get rid of the curves all you have to do is click I think it's like click outside of the mesh or something like that um, or on maybe it's on the mesh let's see there we go just click off of it off of it and now we've got these two objects on his head stuck to the surface um, pretty straightforward uh, let me know if there's any questions um, about what I just covered uh, this should be review um, again reach out if you got questions thanks everyone